Hello friends, this is David Heron with TechSparks.com and today I want to show you how to record the desktop of a Raspberry Pi fairly easily. Okay, so what I have in front of me is a Raspberry Pi Model 4. It's in a Flork case. We want to focus on how to record the desktop and what I mean is, so this right here is the HDMI output. So record, arrange to record in a video software the output of this HDMI port. And this will allow you to record the, uh, the boot up sequence, for instance, and so that you can make recordings of what you're doing on a Raspberry Pi, but it also can be useful in a situation where you're somewhere remote, uh, you don't have a, an HDMI monitor, and you want to use the Raspberry Pi anyway. Uh, the key is, again this is the HDMI output, uh, and this is an adapter, uh, that goes from the micro HDMI to a normal HDMI and then there's a normal HDMI cable and then right here is a device called Video Capture HDMI. So if we remove that it has an HDMI input and a USB output that says, that since it's blue, it's USB 3, I think. I think that's what that means. Um, so, it's very simple. You take an HDMI input to this, and it goes to uh, a USB port. And then it shows up as a video capture device on your laptop. Then the rest of this Pi, it's already set up, so like right there is a, an SD card that has Raspbian, just normal everyday Raspbian. Uh, and then over here is a USB port, USB that goes to my keyboard and mouse. And then also a uh, Ethernet that goes to my router. Okay, so we'll not go into any of that. The Raspbian is just set up normal Raspbian way and, and so on. Uh, what we want to focus on is using this along with uh, video recording software like OBS Studio uh, to record uh, the desktop session on the, from the Raspberry Pi. So let me get that set up. Okay, so I'm back and I have the Raspberry Pi uh, plugged in. And I have OBS Studio running on my Mac. And so I've already configured, you know, there's no video showing here yet because I don't have the Raspberry Pi turned on. Uh, but I have this configured. You'll see it says audio or video capture device and audio input capture. The way this works is you click on the gear icon. Okay, so. To set that up, you first click on this plus icon, and then there's audio input capture, audio input capture, and somewhere on here is a video capture device. So I've already set that up for both of those, uh, and to configure the capture device, you know, I already have it plugged in to my laptop. So the HDMI capture device I showed you is already plugged in. So that means it shows up here as one of the possibilities. So you see that uh, the FaceTime, the, the, the webcam built into the display, for instance, shows up as a video capture device, and so does the USB 3 capture device, which is the device I just showed you. So that handles video capture, and then the same happens for audio capture. You select that, hit the gear icon, 
and you see here a number of possible choices including USB 3 capture. Okay, so that means that this is configured to uh, capture both uh, video and audio from the Raspberry Pi. Now, what if we wanted to also add, uh, okay, so we do video capture again. What if we also wanted to add um, the desktop video? So I've said to make a new video capture device. You see it says video capture 3. There's already video capture device 0 and video capture device 2. So that's fine. We click OK. And then we're configuring video capture 3. So we select the device to be the best time, the, the webcam built into my laptop. And there I am. Uh, but we don't need it. And you'll also see that it shows up as video on the on the thing. But we don't need to record that, so we'll just cancel that out. That's just to show you how to how to set up the capture. Let's take the power brick for the Raspberry Pi. And I'm not gonna well no. Let's go ahead and start a recording. So if we go over here and click on start recording. Um, so this is recording whatever is on the desktop. Or re recording whatever is coming in from the Raspberry Pi. So if I go ahead and plug in the power brick for the Raspberry Pi, um, you see the Raspberry Pi doing its normal boot up sequence. The raspberries, uh, and shortly Raspbian will be showing. There's Raspbian. Okay, and then I have to change the mouse around so that Okay, so I've changed the mouse uh, I have a switch box on my keyboard so that I can just switch the mouse from one display to another. So it's switched now so it's controlling the Raspberry Pi. And you'll see that the mouse pointer is moving around but it's what you might not understand is that it's very laggy. So this isn't highly recommended. But you can see that I am interacting with this and it's just difficult. Alright, and we're starting a web browser just because. And if we go here and type in the name of the world's best search engine, we get to prove that the Raspberry Pi is on the internet and can access a search engine. Um, so it's that simple. And then if we go back up here, if we're really patient, we can shut this down. Okay. Stop recording. Okay. So that's using OBS Studio to record the HDMI from a Raspberry Pi using a simple uh, HDMI recording adapter thing. Um, the HDMI device that I used once again, unplug that so we can take a look at it. This, uh, these are available for like $20, $30, something like that from uh, 
Amazon, eBay, whatever. Um, it did get a little bit warm, but not too bad. Uh, so, have at it. Good luck, and thank you for watching. To close off this video, we have a recording of the Raspberry Pi desktop we just made. Notice that it starts with uh, the full boot sequence. Recording the HDMI output uh, is the only way to capture the boot sequence. For example, you can use OD OBS Studio or other desktop recording software to record the desktop, but it cannot record the boot sequence. Now, it is possible to use this technique with any computer that has an HDMI output. For example, I've used this with my Intel Nook. Notice that the video quality is fairly good. Uh, this session does not show audio capture, but I did verify that that works using this capture device. Uh, now, uh, while the quality is fairly good, do I recommend using this device to capture video of a desktop computer? Uh, the advantage of this device is it being exp inexpensive. For $20 or $30, you have an adequate device that does a fairly good video capture. But notice that the capture uh, is, isn't very smooth. It does not capture all the mouse motion, the lags between the moving, moving the mouse and the on-screen response is frustrating as you're using it. Um, in other words, there are two uses, use cases to consider. One is uh, HDMI recording at the cheapest price, and that's where this device shines. But if, you, if your need is HDMI capture while having a natural desktop interaction, uh, that's not possible with this device. So uh, it depends on what your needs are as to whether uh, you use this recorder or a different recorder. So uh, with that, thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it useful and enlightening.